Hey guys, I was asked to review the Biodynamic DT700 Pro X, DT900 Pro X. Well, actually, I was just asked, um, how do you describe the frequency and overall sound quality of DT900 Pro X compared to both uh, DT1990 uh, Pro and uh, uh, the MK2? So anyway, um, we're just going to be looking at these two because I already did the 1990s uh, right here. But uh, if we go to my grapher here, and we type in 900 Pro X, that's how they measure. Um, he didn't really mention the 700 Pro X, but we're going to add those anyway. So, um, you know, when we look at both of these, um, the 700 Pro X is closed back, and then the 900 Pro X is like semi-closed back. So semi-closed back, closed back headphones. Now, what we can see is they both have a uh, pretty analytical, lifeless bass. They don't have a big bass boost like they should. So this region is kind of lifeless. Uh, so the bass emphasis is not very strong. We can kind of look at that. Like we can hide the uh, 900 Pro X. We can look at like the 770 Pro. Uh, and we can see they have much more bass. So you could argue that the... Uh, DT700 Pro X are basically newer versions of the Biodynamic DT770 Pro 250 ohm. And we can see the 250 ohm DT770s have much more bass emphasis right here compared to down here. So we can see uh, also you get more treble extension on the DT770s than you do the 700 Pro X where the treble is much lower. Uh, so, anyway, we're going to get rid of the DT770s. We're going to bring back the 900s and the 700 Pro X. So, if we look at this, um, we can see some clear problems. Again, they don't have enough bass boosting, so it's kind of analytical, lifeless, not bass boosted enough. We can see the 700 Pro X have a 250, uh, 300 hertz uh, scoop right here, which is not filled in. That's bad. So that's bad. Um, they don't have enough bass, which is also bad, but I was willing to ignore it. I was willing to ignore the fact that, you know, it doesn't have a lot of deep rumble and explosions and vibration. But, you know, this uh, 250 hertz scoop is not good. Um, that hole is not good, which is the reason why the blue line doesn't have it. Okay, so all this wonkiness that we see here with the green line, all that waviness, that's bad. Okay, so this is bad. This this wonky waviness, and that that usually happens a lot of times on closed back headphones. It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to have a nice smooth bass like that, or even like this, you know. But once we get into this wonky, lumpy stuff, it's not supposed to do that. Okay. Uh, once we get into the highs, we can see both of them have this four kilohertz cut tonality problem right here. So that's bad. They both have it. Um, they both have a, a ton of shout around 5, 6K in the presence region. So that's bad. We have all this energy right here. All this energy scooped out right here. All this energy scooped out in the highs. So we can see um, there's huge holes in the treble and air. It should be way up here. So we have all this. This is bad. So a lot of times, you know, you you could say, well, isn't this good because it, it, it it's by the target? Yeah, it's it's good, but it's bad because there's a scoop on either side. So now we have this huge peak at 6K, this huge cut at 4K, this huge cut at 10K, this huge cut at 15K. So, I mean, we've just got a lot of peaks and, you know, deterioration. It just goes like this. This is really bad. It's supposed to be nice and smooth and up here. <laughs> okay. So... Um, both of these are bad. Um, they bo Again, there's a, a lot of funky coloration in the highs. It's very deteriorated. Got this 250 hertz hole. You know, we don't have enough bass. But it's just really bad in the highs and really bad here. And it's just bad here. But it's really, really bad in the highs. And um, so that's the reason why we're going to bring in the DT990s the OGs, my dudes. So the, the the DT990s, when you first get them, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, wow, you know, 
the treble is so piercing and bright and bad. Like, oh no, that is so bad. You know, it's so bright and sharp and shrill. But, you know, once, uh, once uh, the pads wear in, it smooths out a lot more. So now these two 700-900 Pro X are competing against endgame worn ear pad DT990 250 ohm. So now when we trace over the DT990 250 ohm, we can see a very bright, open, clear, shimmery, sparkly sound, very smooth, versus a very jagged, chewed up, huge holes, coloration, huge amount of energy at 6K, Jesus Christ. This is terrible. And then again, the DT990-250 uh, ohm with worn ear pads have much better bass emphasis. And uh, they're just smooth as shit. You know, when I trace over the the DT990 uh, Pro 250 ohm, it is just smooth, slick, and sweet, and shimmery with a lot of bass punch, you know. Sure, it rolls off a little bit of sub bass because it's closed back, but it's just it's just better. It's got more bass. It's got more mid bass bass right there. Much brighter, more open, clear without the shout, without the 4K cut, without the 250 hertz, 300 hertz hole. You know, it's just a lot better. The DT 990 250 Now, one thing that's interesting is we're looking at the DT 900 Pro X versus the DT 990s. What if we take off the dampening? So we have this thing right here, we could take off the dampening. So this is how the DT900 Pro X measure if you take off like the dampening. Mm -hmm. So now the dampening has been released in the highs and now we got a similar sound to the DT990 Pro 250 ohm. So if you if you take off the dampening that rolls off the highs, we can see we actually get a shit ton of bass on the DT900 Pro X but it bleeds into the mid bass so it's very muddy right here on the DT900 Pro X without dampening but we can see you get a much brighter more open sound we can see this 3 kilohertz uh, scoop is cut is way too so again if we trace over these the DT900 Pro X is exceptionally smooth with worn ear pads I mean it is so easy to trace over that it is so smooth throughout the response but once I trace over the DT900 Pro X without dampening, we can see, okay, it's got more deep bass, but it's starting to get muddy and bloated here. Um, it's cutting down way too extremely. Um, that's really bad. It's getting jagged. That's really bad. It's not smooth anymore. So we got a very jagged, deteriorated, you know, upper mid presence treble and air. So it's a lot worse with the DT900 Pro X without dampening. Um, and it kind of reminds me of uh, something else. It reminds me of like the T3. It's like the T1, TI something maybe. Uh, the, the, TI, T, the T1, T5. Third gen. So it kind of reminds me of these. So these are... Uh, dampened but we can see that has a similar problem the biodynamic uh, T1 huge bloated ba mid base bleeds into the mid base um, huge you know 2.5 3k cut so we have a huge amount of hole in the upper uh, mid ear gain region around 3k and then it, it jolts out around 5 6k here on this green line and then it's veiled so this is veiled. So, I don't know, I just saw some similarities with the DT900 Pro X without dampening and the Biodynamic T1 third gen. Uh, except it, it, you know, it rolls off the highs. Uh, it's, it peaks out here on the T1. It peaks out around 6K. Huge, you know, 2.5K cut. You know, bloated. I mean, it is terrible. You know, this is the kind of shit we're working with. And then again, we bring in the 990s with worn ear pads, and oh my god, it's just so much better. So again, they keep coming out with new shit. Uh, people keep saying, you know, ooh, I'm so excited, I just can't hide it. But no, it, it's 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 a bunch of garbage. It's a bunch of shit. 
So we can see here that, you know, I already examined this. You know, we've got this 4K cut, 6K shout, veiled, weak bass emphasis, 250 hertz, 300 hertz bass hole. Okay, not good. Not good. And you hit take off the dampening, you get a brighter, more open, clear treble. You get this huge 3K cut. You get bloated bass boost on the DT900 Pro X without dampening. So it really makes you wonder. It really makes you think who is in charge of this garbage. And uh, based on the DT1990, we can blame this Ante Mihal guy. He, he's 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 screwing shit up, obviously. Uh, with these later versions of headphones. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this examination of the DT700 Pro X and DT900 Pro X. I'll see you guys later.